one. Hi everyone. This tutorial will take you through how to get started creating your website using Weebly. So for the purpose of week one, we're really going to just focus on getting started, creating a www web address for your website, and how to just set up a home page and label some tabs. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get started is go to www.weebly.com. That's where I am right now. And you will see a list of your websites that you've created. These are the ones that I've created. So if you've never created one, you're not going to have anything there. But once you do, this is where you would go to edit your site, look at your stats, share it out, and things like that. So to get started, click Add Site. And the easiest way to start a website, unless you're a professional website maker, is to choose a theme that's already done. So you're essentially almost choosing a website that's kind of already created, and you're going to adapt it and make it your own. So don't really focus too much on the actual pictures or the words. What you're focusing on is how it's laid out. So they have all different topics for you to look at. And just take your time and scroll through. And, and when you find something that really works for you, then choose that one. Notice this site has its tabs up and to the right. This site has its tabs in the middle. So just take a look at those types of things. And once you find something that works for you, you're going to hit choose. Once you chose your theme, then you need to think, what do you want your web address to be? And my recommendations are you want to keep it something that is simple. You want to keep it where kids can remember it and parents can remember it. And you also want to keep it something that could be universal. If you're moving rooms a lot, well, maybe you don't want to make it your room number. If you're switching teachers a lot, maybe you don't want to put the teacher's name. For example, um, in my eighth grade math class, I co-teach with someone named Aileen Clancy, and I made the website mathwithclancy.weebly.com because I didn't want, you know, if we parted ways next year and they didn't put me with her next year, I wanted her to still be able to use this site every year. So those are my recommendations for that. So you have three different options for choosing your domain, but you really only have one option. You have to click this top box right here because this is the only free option. And what that means is after they type in the www, whatever you want your, your web address to be, it's going to end with .weebly.com. For the purpose of this site, I'm going to create a website and I'm going to call it creating a website class. Right? And if you have a green arrow, that means that website is available. If it is red, then you need to just keep trying until you find one that is available. When you're ready, you're going to click continue. And there you kind of have your website. Now, all you're going to do now is you're going to change around the words and to make them your own. Keep in mind that this website, nothing is really clickable. What I mean by that is you're not going to just be able to click on something and change it. All the editing is going to be done up in this top bar up here and down here. So this is when you want to build your site and when you want to change around the things that are here and add images and text. The pages are where you're going to go to change out the labels of your tabs. The theme we already took care of, but you could go back there if you wanted to. Skip the store. I'm going to go to settings because the settings is where I'm going to be able to change the title of my page. So I'm going to go to the title of my page and I don't want it to say my site. I want it to say Miss Delau's site. So I'll change around where it says site title. And then you're going to click save. And you could browse through here, but this is where you would go if you want to change any basic settings. Let's say you even wanted to change your site address. I've had that happen before. You would change that up here. Now I'm going to go back to build. I always go back to build when, I'm, when I want to just see where I'm at, see what, I, what it is I want to change. All right, so the next thing we're doing for the purpose of this week is we're setting up our tabs up here. Now you might want three tabs, you might want five tabs, you might only be ready to work on two tabs, but I think for the, for the purpose of a website, you should have at least three tabs. So 
So the first tab could be your home page, and let's leave that as is. Let's say we want to change these around. I'm going to go up to Pages, and I'm going to just double click on the page that I want to change. So let's say I want to change this, and I want to make it a calendar page. Then I change that, and I go back. And let's say I want to make this a homework page. And you're going to go back and let's say I'll make the third one an extra help page. And there you have it. You change the, the, the tabs. Um, if you want to add more, let's say we wanted to add a tab. Uh, we wanted to say um, we wanted a news tab to show what's happening in the classroom. Then you're going to just click the plus sign up here. And here are your two options that you really like to focus on, a standard page and a blog. A standard page is where you're going to just use a page to add pictures and um, words and things like that. If you want a running list where you keep adding new, blog, new posts, then you want to go the blog route. So I use a standard page for almost everything. The only time I use a blog page is when I'm posting daily homework assignments, and when I'm posting pictures and videos or text of what's happening in the classroom. So for the purpose of the news page, I'm gonna click blog. And I didn't explain this before, but you do have some options down here as well. A header is a, like almost like a banner with text that'll be on the top of your page. So I don't normally include a header just because it's just, people are gonna just have to scroll down it to get to the information that I want. So I choose no header. All right, I'm gonna make this tab called news. And there you have it. You have your homepage and you have your tabs all ready to go. If you wanna take it a step further and just enhance your homepage for this week, then you're gonna to go to the homepage and you're gonna hit build, right? So we're right over here. now. Anything that you want to do, you're going to drag it from here. So if I wanted to add a title, I would just drag it right in. And then I would say, welcome. Welcome to our class website. Okay, if you wanted to add an image, you would drag the image over. If you want to change this background image, you're going to just, I just clicked and then I, you can either replace the layout, you can edit the background. Let's say you don't want an image, maybe you just want color. You would go down here and you would change the color. Okay. Um, okay. So let's recap. I created my website, I made a web address, I have a home page now. And you can, for the purpose of week one, you know, just say welcome. And I labeled my tabs. That is all you need to do for week one. Next week, we're going to work on going into each tab and adding more contact, content and information. So before you're done, because you're not done yet, you want to click publish. Publish is going to save your information and make it viewable. So when you're done, you're going to hit publish. Um, it's asking me to choose my website. I've already done that. I'm going to just hit continue. And here is your web address, creating a website class .com. This is what you're going to share on our Google Classroom. So you're going to right click this right here and you're going to hit um, copy link address and then you'll paste it in the Google Classroom. If you ever want to see the student version or the published version of your website, then just click right here. and you'll get to it. Okay, so uh, that is a very brief tutorial. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Where am I? Here I am. Um, that is a very brief tutorial that shows you how to get started. Um, if you have any questions from that, just reach out to me. If not, then just wait for next week and we'll uh, send out new videos showing you how to add more detail. All right, everyone, have a great day or evening or whatever time it is that you're watching this. Bye-bye.